Welcome to another tutorial for TE2 Assignment 1 Year 4. This is a part 1 video. So let's first start up with your Excel. Okay, let's open up your Excel. Okay, go to Excel right here. Press open. Now we're going to choose blank workbook. Okay. Now, if you see right here, you only have one sheet. For your assessment, we need three sheets. So we double click at sheet one. We're going to name it as dummy data. Then we click the plus sign to add another one, which is called calculations. Then we're going to add the third one. It's going to be visualization. OK, now let's go back to dummy data. We are going to select A1 until D1 cell. And then we're going to merge and center. Right here, we're going to name it as dummy data generator. Okay, we can make it bigger as well for the words if you want. Okay, I'm gonna make it like this. Okay, now starting at A3 until D3, we're gonna put the column names. So just follow what I'm gonna type here. This one shall be called gender height. in meters and then weight in kilograms now let's start with the numbers first i'm gonna put one two okay i'm gonna generate about 30 uh 30 data for 30 people so i'm gonna select one and two and then I'm going to generate about 30. Okay, perfect. So we have 30. Now, let's go to B5. No, not B5, B4. And then we're going to put a formula to generate random genders. Okay, so it's just male and female. So we're going to put equal. Choose. Ran between. Okay, then we're going to open parentheses again, 1 and 2, comma, first one is female, if it randomly picks number 1, and then the next one is male, if it picks number 2, then close parentheses. So you just follow the formula that's written right here, okay, but it's typed right here, okay. Once you're done, press enter. And then you have it. So click the cell right here. If you see a small little square knob right here, make sure you move it until you get a black plus sign for your cursor. Click and drag all the way up to here. Okay, now you have generated a random uh, gender right here for 30 people. Now let's go to height. Press equal. Then we're going to type ran between 1 comma 1.4 because that is like the normal height for the year 4 students. Okay, so 1 meter to 1.4, let's say. And then we're going to plus ran with parentheses. This is for the decimal place behind. Then press enter, and then you have it. So we're going to click here, then we're going to copy down the formula. Okay, once you are done with the copying, let's make sure before you click anything else, let's reduce the decimal place to two decimal places. Okay, the next one, go to D3. No, no, no sorry, D4 not D3, D4, 
I'm going to put equal ran between. Okay, so like the weight for year four students, normally like let's say 20 kilograms up to 65, depending. Okay, then close parentheses plus ran parentheses here just to add the decimal place. Then press enter. Now we're going to click here, copy down the formula again. And then we're going to reduce the decimal places to 2. Okay, now I'm going to adjust it here. Okay, now we are done with the generated dummy data. Let's select here all the way up to here to add a border. Okay, I'll go here, then click all borders. Now we're done. So we're going to click on Control C or you right click copy, go to calculations, go to A3, and then you right click, click on values. Okay, the second option, values. So I'm going to adjust. Okay, I'm going to select here. And then reduce the decimal places. And then select the weight data right here. And then reduce the decimal places. Okay, now we're going to add another column name right here at E3, call it BMI. This is for your calculations on calculating the BMI. So at E4, you're going to put the formula equal weight. Okay, so instead of typing the number right here, you can always click on D4, divide, open parentheses, or open bracket, click on C4, multiply, C4 again. So you can type C4, close the bracket, then enter. Okay, now click on E4 again, reduce the decimal places, then you copy down the formula again. Okay, now we're done with this. So let's merge the cells from A1 until E1. Okay, let's merge it together. And we're going to name this as BMI calculations. Okay, calculation. Okay, now let's make the font bigger. If you like it bigger, enter. And then we're going to add a border. So select the table that you want to add the border. Click here, all borders. Now. now we are done with dummy data and also calculations. All right? So that's the end for part one.